All right, lads, time to work. Today we'll be looking to sharpen up our distribution as a group. Decision making, proper way to pass, accuracy, movement off the ball. Yeah. Yeah, I need to pay my bill. Uh, I've actually never done that before, so I'm gonna need all the help that I can get. Credit card? Yeah, I have. First one was two, actually. Um... Jim, didn't expect to see you here. Yeah? No, well, Catherine's working and Alex is a miner, you see. So it needs a guardian here when he discusses contracts or had that slipped your mind. Jim, I'm not here to make him sign anything. Just show him. I would never do that. Yeah. All right, yeah, cheers. Uh, fun company. Let's talk. Don't look so worried. This is good news. Ever seen yourself 30 feet tall, Alex? What? I'm talking about billboards. Adidas billboards, more specifically. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm serious. Adidas wants you in their new UK marketing campaign. Only pick a handful of players from the Premier League and you're one of them. You've crossed over, Alex. The next step. If you're interested, you'll just have to take part in a photo shoot. Day's work, Max. Photo shoot? I can do that. What do you think, Grandad? I don't know. I've never had anything like this in my day. You say it's just one day's work, right? No more. It's probably less, to be honest. A few hours. They're pretty good at these things. It's in their interest not to waste their talent's time. Well, I guess it couldn't hurt, eh? <laughs> it's a nice little <laughs> deal, Jim, but there'll be others. It's not about the money. It's about what you want your fans to think about you. Your legacy, about who Alex Hunter is. Take your time with this, Alex. Read it over, 
Discuss it with your family and with an eye for the long term. I'll leave you to it. You're a star in the making, Alex. Just be sure it's the star you want to become. Hi there everybody, Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith and our match today comes from the Premier League. West Bromwich Albion in this game today and they face Southampton. Kane easily stepped up from club football into the England international setup, scoring within seconds of his debut, of course. Yeah, whether we'll see uh, an early goal here, I wouldn't write him off, but uh, I quite fancy him to get on the score sheet. The team now for you for West Bromwich Albion. It does look more like 4 4 1 1 than 4 4 2. Yes, I think so. I mean, it gives the manager the option of stiffening his midfield and when they get the ball you know that number 10 if that's what you want to call him behind the center forward he can supply the bullets he can get in the box and give his teammates some company here's the southampton team for you 4-4-2 but a diamond shape is how he's gone particularly during matches it may be that he's going to start with a diamond today yeah but i've seen this manager so often switch formations midstream during the course of a match and we might see that again today well it's the old cliche about the hawthorns the highest stadium in england which is a relatively flat country <laughs> but uh, it certainly has its own rarefied atmosphere shall we say always got a good welcome here the balti pies are marvelous in the press room proper black country welcome and it's a, it's a nice tidy compact ground James McLean moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here crisp defending there Oriol Romeo Cedric Look very good indeed, but the move has broken down. And Phillips. Hunter trying to find a way through. Cedric. classic comes in strongly Bernard well this attack has got a bit of menace to it that's great defending there stopping that attack Kane he has such an appetite for the game because he'll chase down anything, anywhere. Yeah, he pops up in the most unusual positions, doesn't he? Stephen Davis. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. 
could be dangerous. Reed. They've got the ball back by that interception. Hunter. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Well, it will be a throw-in. Now Austin. Reed. Ryan Bertrand. Oriol Romeo. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Here's Cedric Suarez. He's closed down well and stopped the cross coming in. Jordi Classy. Good defending. Defender to it first. He's put it out. It's gone out for a corner. Long. Well, that is from the realms of footballing miracles. It's a brilliant clearance from the line. He is a defender, an out-and-out one. His instincts were fantastic there. Here, the challenge is a good one. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. And shoots! The goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. It's offside. Here's Cedric Suarez. That's a great interception. Takes a nick off the player, out for a throw. Shane Lock. Now Stephen Davis. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. And now they've lost it and could be caught having to hurry back. Here's Harry Kane. Bernard. Really on top of their game now. Wonderful understanding. Came in with a challenge. Strong, fair challenge. Pulls out for a throw, though. Now it's with Hunter. They're on the attack here. And it's going to be a throw here. Here's Phillips. There's the ball in. Well, that's always the goalkeeper's ball and a simple catch as much as anything is simple in this game. Made the challenge well. Possession changes feet. He's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. James McLean. Into the attacking third. Quick into the tackle. And the result is going to be a throw. Trying to thread it through here. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. It's Alex Hunter! Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. And that's gone for a corner for West Brom. Goes for goal with the header. Somehow he saved it. It's a corner again.
he's got that well out of harm's way. Bernard. Well, there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Here comes the cross. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. corner dealt with pretty straightforwardly and the added time will amount to three minutes at least on the attack here good challenge and there is the half-time whistle nil-nil at the break Alan, your thoughts on Harry Kane's first-half performance? The opposition defence have marshalled him expertly so far. No chances, really, for the lad. And we've got another 45 minutes to go. And uh, set your watches, off we go. Jordi Classic. It's long. On to the attack now. Defender to it first. It'll be a throw. No nonsense clearance from the defender. Jordi Classy. And that's good support as they build this attack. Good pass, getting it forward. Trying to get the cross in, well blocked by the defender. Bernard. Good challenge here. Bertrand. Van Dijk. Ryan Bertrand. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Keeping the ball moving, that's important. Promising build-up until that challenge. We want to... Just freshen things up a bit here, West Brom, I think, with a substitution. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. And it's a shot now! Well, they're trying hard to get in front here. Coming off the pitch, number four, Paul Bernard, to be replaced by number seven, James Morrison. And it's going to be a substitution now for this team. Southampton ready to make an alteration here. Ryan Bertrand. We've had an hour gone here and still 30 minutes left. Comes in strongly. James Morrison. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. There's the ball in, and he's in there with a the header. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Jakob. Could be dangerous. West Brom want to make a change.
Building steadily here, keeping possession. It goes out wide again. Quick into the tackle. And the result is going to be a throw. And they do need an injection of uh, fresh enthusiasm from the bench. Into the attacking third. It's Alex Hunter. And shoots. Oh, that's great. And the wait is over. It's a fine goal. They've worked away at the opposition. And now they've got their reward. Nicely taken. And patience has paid off finally. Well, we thought, Alan, we get a very tight game today. But I have to say, this team playing really, really well. Well, they are playing well, Martin. And uh, they're getting plenty of shots in on goal, aren't they? They're good value. It was a game that deserved a goal. Now we've got it. Oriol Romeo. I think we'll see with these possession stats, Alan, that yes, the uh, game has been as even as it seems without the, the figures to back that up. Yeah, I mean, I think we thought coming into this match, Martin, that it would be evenly matched. And it's been the case here. Being uh, moved around nicely here. And now the shot! Oh, off target at such a crucial moment. They could have been level. I think the occasion got to him there. All he needed was a cool head, but couldn't supply it. Well, they're still trailing, and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. And Phillips. Alex Hunter. There's some potential in this move, and here's the shot. Great work by the goalkeeper. The ball is his, and he's made sure he's protected it. To Davis. Oriol Romeo trying to find a way through here, probing away. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. It's been a thrilling contest, this, and we're into the last knockings of it, and the supporters... Well, they're not showing any sign of losing their stamina. They've been great. Yeah, always love coming to this ground. One of the best atmospheres around. They've not disappointed. Still, as we are on the scoreline, but there's still time, even this late in the game, for a twist to the tail. Well defended, not just getting across. He thought quickly as well. Hunter. reading of the by anticipating the pass well they're in a good position here he could cross it from here Austin giving the ball away they've linked up well got to be and the goalkeeper got across to it corner now for Southampton Here's a chance to attack. He might be through. Letting the shot go. Wonderful finish. Oh, talk about a dramatic appearance there from the substitute. Brilliant goal from him. Well, disappointment for the losing team, but I'm afraid the winners deserve this margin, which has been confirmed by this very late goal. Yeah, it's been a, a walkover. You don't often get games like this at this particular level, but so one-sided. Restarting at 2-0. Two ooze around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. Attacking now. Good pass, getting it forward. He could do a better cross than that, I think. And it was easy to cope with. Jeremy Pierre. And that's the end of the match. And it's 2-0. Well, you don't have to dominate a game to win it. This game is proof of that. You certainly don't. And the little scoreline 
in the top corner of the screen is what matters more than possession. Harry Kane under the watchful eye of uh, another England striker, of course, our own Alan Smith. Good performance from him, and uh, I think that was probably the difference between the two teams. All right, let's get to work. I think we'll sharpen up our dribbling today, if that's all right with you lot. I want to see control with pace and purpose. Push it off!
Well, this is the one we've been waiting for. We being Martin Tyler and Alan Smith in the commentary box, and you, of course, ready to watch the game unfold. Yeah. I can't wait for this one. West Bromwich Albion in this game today against Crystal Palace. Well, here we are at the Hawthorns. And uh, not too far from where you were born and brought up. How did you feel coming here as a visiting team? Did you feel that it was hostile or were you almost at home? It wasn't overly hostile. They are friendly fans, the Boing Boing Baggies fans. They love the football, harking back to the, the Jeff Astle days and beyond. Crystal Palace, who play still at Selhurst Park, it's uh, one of the older grounds in the Premier League. Great noise they have there because they allow a section of the fans to stand. Yeah, uh, tightly packed in there. And they don't stop singing for the entire match. And it is quite unusual these days. It's harking back to the old days almost. And it is Graham Scott who is the referee. Fasten your seatbelts, this should be fantastic. Townsend. Good forward play from them. Enteke. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Piece of interplay between the two. Andros Townsend. It's looking good, this move. In towards the dangerous Benteke. And the keeper can collect this one. Hunter. That will help ease the pressure. Comes in with a tackle. Into the attacking third. Well, good through ball. James McLean. Oh, it could be on. He is a saviour there. Now Kelly. Menteke. Tackle here. West Bromwich Albion have gone and got the possession back. Yakov. Could be dangerous. More news on the injury, and Jeff Shreves is the man in possession of the information. Word from the bench is that he's actually twisted his knee. That's why he's been trying it out. But at the moment, he's carrying on. Jeff, I knew you'd know what was going on down there. Attacking well here. And the cross comes in now. Done well to get it wide. Not done so well with the delivery from the wide areas. Yakov. James McLean. Play back. Very good passes. This team are passing the ball beautifully. Well, that's a good clean tackle to stop the attack. 
Johan Kabay. Made the challenge well. Kelly. James MacArthur. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Decision is a throw. It was a fair tackle. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. It is an advantage for Crystal Palace, and they're going to try and take advantage of the referee's decision. And the cross coming in. Well, that's always the goalkeeper's ball, and a simple catch as much as anything is simple in this game. And Phillips. Strong challenge. James MacArthur. Joe Ledley looking for an opening with some good control builder. Good piece of tackling then. Bernard. Jakob. Well, they move forward again with Alex Hunter. This is an opportunity. When you concede a free kick in an area like this, you could be in serious trouble. I know, Alan, this is one of your favourite referees, and he's done well here, hasn't he? He's come back and done the booking, having let the play go on earlier. And here's the shot. Oh, off the crossbar and behind for a goal kick. Bernard. Brilliant team play this with the passing, the movement off the ball to make the passing possible. Here's Harry Kane. Trying to thread it through here. Hunter! He's kept it out. Well, they're defending the corner now. They're lining up for it. Knocked away long. The shot's on. Terrific stop. And a corner given by the referee. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looked very encouraging. It's Alex Hunter. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. To put them in front. The shot. Well, his name is shortened to the point, and so is his style of play. Kane scores. There's been a half of great action, which has continued right to the very end. Yeah, lack of concentration from the team that's conceded there. That's poor. Opened the scoring 1 0 here. Number 10. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. On to the attack now. That's neatly done. Challenges for the ball. And that's half time. Signaled by the referee 1 0 the half time score. Alan, your thoughts on Harry Kane's first-half performance? Yeah, and what a good time to score that was. Uh, put his side in the lead. And 
it is a substitute coming on for an already booked player. Substitution for West Bromwich Albion coming up. It's all set and we're ready for the start of the second period. Building steadily here, keeping possession. And now he's looking for some support. And in he goes with the tackle. Well, the tackle there has led to a throw. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Could have stopped it. That's a foul by Hunter. Well, that's a yellow card. Yeah, I don't think there's any choice there from the ref. Did you see anything cynical in that, Alan? He just didn't seem to get his balance right there. It was a clumsy challenge. On the attack here. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Eye-catching football, really. It just got to a stage where they actually took the eye off the ball, literally, and they've lost the ball. Crystal Palace are going to make an alteration. There's a substitute coming on. Jakob. Here, the challenge is a good one. Rushing it here, moving from one side to the other. Defender to it first. It's in the laws, the advantage, and referee applying it well then. In comes the challenge. And Phillips. Tremendous understanding from these players. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. Well, he's got his fist to it. Fletcher. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. And they've cut it out. Now Kelly. West Brom want to make a change. Good forward play from them. Came in with a challenge. Good play, but they've lost the ball now. The opposition could get at them. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. And now they've lost it and could be caught having to hurry back. Joe Ledley. Just a quick check on the clock and there are 20 minutes to go. That's a throw. It's a change here, and I think it might be a tactical one. McCauley. James Morrison. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they've still got the ball. Good, strong tackle. He's given possession away here. Crystal Palace have a substitute getting ready. And Phillips. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. Fletcher. James MacArthur. foul free kick 
substitution for Crystal Palace coming off the pitch. Well, there's still time to hit back in this game, and they're going to try and do it with a substitute. That's good play after a poor first touch. Palace about to make a change here. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Strong tackling, determination. Oh, the possession squandered in a good position. And now they've got to get back. Comes in strongly. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. It's noticeable that the home supporters are trying to help the team in this situation. They're encouraged by the lead, but they fearful perhaps that this team might lose it. Well, they won't want to give anything silly away. The opposition are chasing the ball, trying to get it back and trying to get back into this match. James Tompkins. Andros Townsend could be dangerous. But it's a passing game, and my word, they're passing it well here. And it's the tackle that stops the attack here. And Phillips. And the players place another two minutes added on by the referee. Kane. Darren Fletcher. It. There goes the final whistle, and the final score is 1 0. And that is a win to cherish today. Well, most definitely, although they uh, made one or two mistakes at the back, the strikers were good enough to win the spoils. Well, let's get Alan's thoughts on the performance today of Harry Kane. Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance. Practice makes perfect, lads. And let's work on our shooting from range this morning. Power and precision.
Thank you. 